Hi, this is Liz Morris from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. Imagine a world where breast cancer can be detected early before it's metastasized, thereby saving lives. Fast MRI puts us on the path toward this reality. Chiung Gong, Professor of Radiology at the West China Hospital in Chengdu, China. My hospital used to be the largest in the world, and we have a huge patient throughput. I would therefore envisage fast scan will have immediate impact on reducing patient waiting time. Hi, my name is Edwin van Beek. I'm the Chair of Clinical Radiology at the University of Edinburgh. My future for MRI would be that it's accessible, so that means reducing table time. The additional value would be both in morphological, functional and molecular methods. And last but not least, it needs to be quantifiable and reproducible to allow multi-center use. All right, so I'm joined now with Dr. Jim Pipe. He's the president of ISMRM. Welcome back to Asia. It's been a while. Thank you. Yes, we're so happy to be back here. Are you excited about Singapore? What can we expect from the conference? It's such a beautiful city, and I think uh, just the, the, the vibrancy of the city really matches our, our, our attendees, um, I think. So we're going to enjoy the meeting here at a fantastic convention center, but also every time we come to a city, I think, our members like the chance to get out and see what's going on. We just saw some videos about uh, MR values yeah. um, from some yeah. of your members. Uh, tell us a little bit about what that is and this big initiative that it's part of. So MR value is kind of a hard thing to define, but basically uh, when we look at the use of MR in the clinical arena, um, what we're interested in exploring is um, the cost of MR and how that affects patient outcomes. So it's kind of what does MR bring to the patient and how does it affect their outcome and, and you divide that by the cost of the exam. That's kind of how we define it. MR is useful in, in, in terms of the health care of the patient but also in terms of the economics of, of treating that patient and so we really want to explore that. We want to find where MR improves health uh, at, at the right cost and, and, we want to, and, and where it doesn't we want to find ways to improve, the, improve how MR is used. Well, certainly your membership has a unique capability, ability to be part of this yes. conversation, yes. right? How important is it to discuss this now? It's, it's so critical. I, I think all of us appreciate that the, the rising cost of health care. And I think if there's any society that can address at least the MRI part of, part of that equation, it's the society. It's filled with over 7,000 really bright physicians and clinicians, uh, engineers and scientists. Uh, we also have a fantastic section of MR technologists and radiographers. So this is the society I think can, that can really address this part of, of healthcare economics. I think um, members really want to get involved in this in this topic, especially it affects them on a daily basis yeah. in their careers. Yes. Um, how can members get more involved? What can they do now? So we're we're looking we're trying to explore how do we move forward now. So we're gonna we're gonna announce three things on Monday. One of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna start what we call a, a high value. Uh, MR exam campaign and so we're asking our members over the next year to look at if a patient comes in with a particular set of, of, of indications, uh, a particular history, um, is there a way you can use MR in a very cost-effective way um, to answer a question um, around that patient's um, um, health uh, in a much cheaper and more effective way than, than we do right now. So we're going to, it's a very focused area right now on MR value. We're going to ask them to submit uh, their ideas, and then at the, our meeting next year in Honolulu, uh, we're going to present uh, the top 10 or 20 of these uh, uh, entries, and we're going to try to move forward and gather evidence so that we can really start to change healthcare. We're also looking at forming some kind of a study group or some kind of a, a subgroup of our society that can really focus on this area, um, and we're also uh, exploring uh, a joint workshop with the RSNA, which is one of the large radiology societies uh, on this topic, probably in 2017. Okay, and you hinted at it, the big session happening tomorrow, we're yeah, going to launch yeah, this. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit, give us a little taste of what we can expect. Sure, so we, we've got, uh, uh, I'm going to talk just a little bit about it. We're going to show these videos that, that you just saw, and then we're going to have uh, a couple of our members interview three different uh, members, one representing in some way North America, one uh, Asia, and one Europe. Um, certainly, what MR value means, it, it, it varies with country and with, you know, the geography and the culture. So they're each going to talk about what, what this means regionally for them and, and how, you know, what we do could help healthcare in their region. Uh, and we're also going to talk to one of our members, Christian Kuhl, who's, who's done a, a really great job 
giving an example of how we can do this with, with what she calls an abbreviated breast exam. So for women who, who want to come in and get screened for uh, breast cancer, she has a rapid three-minute exam. It's really an impressive use of MR. It's just showing how MR does not have to be a really long, expensive study. So we're going to also talk to her a little bit about the challenges that she faced uh, and the ways that she thinks this is going to move for things forward in, in her country. Very important issue, yeah. of yeah. course. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Pipe. Yes. Great to have you on the show Thank with us. Thank you very much.